Um, I hacked the original light that came with the boat, Atwood light pole. Um, so I can show you just a little bit of what I did. This is not a how-to, but if you are interested, you know, uh, go to jamieaston.com and um, find the article on this. And uh, yeah, you know, if you're interested in these and you don't want to make it, maybe if I get enough interest, I can start hacking them up for people. Before we get to the hack, I'm going to demonstrate to you how the navigation lights work. As you can see, it's your regular green and red lights. The two LED lights at the top of the unit are indicators for the buttons. The first button we're going to press is the courtesy deck light, which turned green to indicate that it was on. The light is very bright. It's LED. The second light turns on the headlights. As you can see, that red light turned green as well. We have the headlights on and the deck light off. Now we demonstrate having all lights on, courtesy light, navigation lights, and headlights. We'll power both the headlight and the deck light off at the unit. The navigation lights are controlled just like the OEM unit from the console. We will demonstrate the wireless remote, which just turned the headlights on. The wireless remote also adds two functionalities for the lights. There's strobe pattern, which is a slow pattern and a fast pattern. Strobe lights are good for emergencies. Sorry, don't want to induce a seizure for anyone. This was a very simple, fun, and very functional hack. Hey gang, Jamie Aston, and uh, today we're going to start a new project. I've already started it. <laughs> I said, doggone, I forgot to start recording. So you've already seen my first light project, or maybe I just showed you the results. Um, that light was just a fishing light, portable light that you can use LEDs just for everything. Today what we're going to be doing is modifying the light that came with your tracker boat, your uh, bow light, your navigation light. Number one, the light comes with this little cap on it. The cap just unscrews. You unscrew it and you can take it off and it's just a center light bulb inside of it that you could easily pull out to replace. Uh, what I did is this little rubber piece, I pulled it on down. This is just a rubber, large, you know, to seal, keep out the water. You can just pull it down. Uh, be mindful of the button right here. Uh, probably press it in so it'll be a little bit lower, and then you can pull it down a little bit easier. Uh, you can pull the light bulb out if you want to. I haven't done so yet. Next thing I've done, these are screws. These are just guide screws to make sure that this thing is always facing in the correct direction uh, when you have it mounted in, in the boat. So I removed the screws. Um, I, don't, I can't show you beforehand, but right here you can tell they use a center punch and they use a center punch down here. And what they're doing is once they mount these lights and these uh, ports, these plastic ports, they use a center punch on this aluminum to keep it from spinning around. So what you want to do is drill and if you see some white plastic start to pull out stop I ended up going all the way in but I did not damage any wires on the inside on the bottom I was a little more successful it's not hollow so once I saw some black plastic come out then I stopped so let's just take a look at this top I'm going to push that light down a little bit there we are went ahead and cut the wire and what we're going to do is uh, for the first trial is we are going to uh, put this T-bar PVC on it and uh, see if we can make it fit down. Now I got the one with the threads because without the threads it does fit but then we're gluing. So what I'm going to do is actually heat this pipe up with the uh, heat gun and we're going to make this thing fit perfectly. Stuff on it. 
Okay, gang. Um, here's the bracket now. We have some rivets in it. We've cut it down. Here's the back side of it. And we're going to be adding this one back here. A little more support. It's not really needed for support, but it's actually going to be used to hide some of the wiring inside the cage. So, um, we'll go ahead and add this bracket on. We have our navigation lights. Oh. LED strip. It's a full big LED strip on that side. LED strip. There's the wiring underneath it coming through. We're going to put the pole in next. But the one thing that the boat light that came in with the tracker had was a courtesy light. This little tiny little um, yellow light. In the darkness, I did use it in complete darkness and it did light up a little bit of the floor, so that was cool. We're putting in a brand new LED. So we have a clear LED at the back. That's what it looks like from the top. You don't even see that LED because that LED does not shine up at all. It's just to shine back and on the floor. Um, but these LEDs, they shine straight out and they're allowed to go it bright down anywhere you can because we want traffic to see but as you see on this side you're only going to have green light and on that side you're only going to have red but if you put them on front someone going ahead you see that I have full LEDs this bracket right here hey gang <laughs> see I keep changing clothes because this has been a multi multi day project not because it takes days to do it's actually fairly fast it's just time waiting for new components to come in and just time. It's been real fun, hard finding time to get out here and work. Um, but anywho, this is what the unit looks like. We have spotlights on here, navigation lights. We have our service work light back here. And right now I'm stripping everything else so I can get the wiring done. Um, here's the wire that, wire that came on. And again, you know, you all go to the website for more details on how this stuff is wired um, you know um, and what each component is I have it right here I don't know if you can see it but you can definitely see it on the website is that upside down? no it's not you know, have the three prongs are wired things like that so um, anywho we're gonna go ahead and wire this up and uh, and a wiring harness. I'm just buying the wireless, the wireless harness for this wireless button. So we have two wireless buttons. I don't know if I'm gonna use both of them, but mainly I bought this just for this click on button right there. I already had one click button, and now I'm gonna cut that one off and make two, so I can control this thing. But we might still add the wireless uh, can, uh, devices. All right, and as you see, we have these two rivets down in place to keep this PVC from moving. We got one right at the top center for that piece of PVC and this rivet is to keep these corners together. We have a rivet at the back. Okay, gang, everything works. Looks like a jumbled mess right now. Okay, gang, here it is. This is the Jamie Aston Enhanced Boat Light system and um, yeah it has uh, navigation lights of course these are spotlight headlights it has a courtesy light for the trolling motor and stuff all of that deck light right there these are your buttons you can turn the headlights on and off as well as the deck lights on and off right here we also have, oh, I dropped it and caught it. We have a wireless in the headlights. So I can turn the, wire, the headlights on from anywhere on the boat. Uh, navigation lights do not have to be on. The crazy light does not have to be on. Everything is truly independent. The navigation lights work just like they do originally uh, with the boat switch. Here it is.